In this video, we are going to take a look at creating surfaces and defining surfaces. So what objects can we use to create a surface? On my screen here, I've got some survey points inserted and these are just that loam pile that we've been using in the previous videos. I have some AutoCAD points. So these are plain old AutoCAD points. And if I go to the properties of them, we see that they have X, Y, and Z values. And these correspond with the survey as well. And then over here, I don't actually have a surface. I have a bunch of polylines. And all these polylines will have elevations on them. So 1177 down to 1173. So they're a one meter interval. And all three of these kinds of objects we can make surfaces from, and, and even there's more than that. So to create a surface, there's a couple ways of doing this. You can do it through your, your uh, ribbon here. You can go surfaces, create surface or you can right click on surfaces here and create surface. Now, before I go and create one, I wanted to point out a couple things here. We can create a surface from a DEM file. So sometimes you'll get a DEM file from a client or from whoever you're working with. It could be a GeoTIFF, it could be an ASCII file, text file, etc. So we can make a surface out of any one of these files. I'm gonna, we can also create a surface from a TIN, a triangular regulated network if you if you get that from the client. So I'm gonna right click and create a surface and up brings the create a surface dialog box. We have four different types we can make. We can make a tin surface, a triangle, triangular regular network. We can make a grid surface, a grid volume surface or a tin volume surface. However, for this example, we are going to make a tin surface. I'm gonna name this one survey points because that's what we're going to put inside of it to define it. My style, I'm just going to select, we'll say one and point two, not too much detail and the render material, we'll just leave that as is. So I'm going to hit okay. And instead of adding these survey points, I'm going to add the point group itself to this surface. So under the definition tab here, we can see everything we can add as a definition. I'm going to select point groups, right click add. I can select my all points and hit OK. And it will build that surface for me. So I've added this point group, which I just did something we should never do. You should never add all points. So right click delete. The surface wants to be rebuilt. We can add a point group called the loam pile. And if we rebuild, <clears throat> that'll be the current definition. Now, right above point groups is the word point files. So if I remove this and we rebuild, so I've already inserted these survey points. However, we can go straight to the point file and add the point file in for this surface itself. So it's creating a dynamic link to that point file. If you have 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 or more survey points, you never, ever, ever want to insert those into your drawing. It's going to cause drawing degradation, performance issues. It won't be able to keep up and it's going to take absolutely forever because you're inserting 30,000 to a million objects into your drawing. So I like to create a dynamic link with the point file as this does not bring the survey points in. You will recognize this dialog box as the same one to bring in the points. So we'll just select what we want, P N E Z D, and we'll hit okay. And as we see that surface is built, I can then go ahead and delete those survey points and remove them from the drawing completely, yet the surface is still here. So this is built from those surface survey points. I'm gonna create a new surface called AutoCAD points. And we'll do it on the same point one and point two and we'll hit okay i'm going to expand autocad points the definition and we want to add drawing objects so under drawing objects we can add points lines blocks if you have blocks with elevations you can add text 3d faces or poly faces sometimes you'll get a surface that looks like a rainbow and it's all connected in a in a grid that would be a poly face so i'm going to select points and hit okay i'm going to select these autocad points and as we see, we get the same surface. The definition might be a little different because of what they're being built from. However, there's our surface. 
I am going to go ahead and change these all to color 251. Actually, no, we'll change it to a color that, si uh, yeah, green. And I'm gonna make a third surface here out of polylines. And sometimes you will get a surf or some information from a client that's plain old polylines. We'll hit okay. Under the polyline surface, under definition, we are going to add contours. So I'll right click add, I'll just name this polyline contours. Uh, distance for weeding factors, supplementing factors. This will help it build in, in the surface because we're gonna get a vastly different definition with this. And then we wanna minimize flat areas with these four options. So I'm gonna select the four contours and hit okay. Now, as you see, this surface looks quite a bit different than this surface. So contours definitely give us less definition in a surface than any types of points do. So just keep that in mind when you're designing a surface with contours. And I really don't think there's a way that we can fix this up all too much just because the contours give us so little definition unless we can get a surface with more contours. So again, we can add break lines is another option to build a surface. And that would be your 3D polylines or your feature lines. Chances are you could even add these contours as break lines. So if we are doing a design surface, we would add them as break lines. You can add a DEM file right into your surface instead of going surfaces create from DEM. You can add it right in through, through this uh, tool space. Again, drawing objects, we can add these six different types of objects to our surface. Now under edits, this is all part of the surface definition as well. Anything we do to this surface will appear under this edits. However, this will not be in chronological order. This is going to be in probably alphabetical order. So if you wanna see what you've done, select your surface, right click surface properties, and under the definition tab, this will be in chronological order. So the first thing we did, add contour data. The second thing we did, we minimized those flat areas when we built the surface. If we go and do anything else to this, like under edits, right click, smooth surface. So we'll make it all smooth if we can. And uh, select a region, I want surface. Oh, sorry, we want random points. Under surface, we'll hit okay. It's gone and really messed the surface up now. However, no, depending on what we click on, and both of these, of course, are in order. So if we go back into the polyline surface properties, we now have a smooth surface down there and we can turn any of these off. So if we turn the flat areas off and rebuild, it rebuilds the surface to be more smooth. We can turn that back on, turn our smooth surface off and rebuild. If we don't want the smooth surface, right click remove. So that that is how you uh, check the definitions and how you built the surface itself. We can add point files, which we went through with the first surface or point groups before we deleted it. So that was creating and defining a surface. There's a lot more options that we could do, just three of the major ones. Again, poke around the options, check out editing surfaces. We'll go through it. We'll go through some labels in a future video as well.